is an encounter with what God has said, then your next assignment is to meditate up, upon it until, until the light enters you. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Light. You have understood. Listen, please understand this. All of the promises of God without exception are conditional. Let me repeat myself. All of the promises of God without exception are conditional. The cheapest thing we ever receive as believers is salvation. And even that does not happen automatically. There are people going to hell every day in spite of the fact that the substitutionary sacrifice is a reality because there is still a condition. If thou shalt believe with your heart and then verbalize it by confessing with your mouth, then that life becomes yours because the law is that when you believe with your heart, Romans 8, 10, right? Verse 8 to 10. And confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved so you can hear the gospel and still go to hell the cheapest thing on earth still requires something from you listen to me when you act on the word you are not negating faith you are not negating the grace of god you are participating there is a participatory requirement to make the word of god come to pass many believers continue to cross their legs fold their arms just because you found it does not mean it will happen you will sit down and watch yourself grow old and yet the word of god does not work the word of god only works for those who walk it you must engage it it says work out your salvation with fear and trembling your own salvation so i give you an instance I'm living a life of failure. I'm living a life of defeat. And I am tired. Then I go to God in prayer. And I begin to see all the promises that continue to show me that I have a great destiny in Christ. Now, finding it is not enough. I must meditate upon it. The end of meditation is knowing where your responsibility comes. If you have not found where your responsibility comes, your meditation is not over. Knowing what God has said is the A part of your meditation. The B part is what is my role in making this prophecy happen. This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. He meets a blind man and puts mud and says, go to Siloam. A blind man, how will he get there? He heals 10 lepers and says, if you believe I've healed you, get up by yourself with your own energy. Prove that you believe me by taking action. Right? Go and show yourself to the priest. That's a risk. You go and meet the priest. What if it does not happen? Your moving proves you believe. Not just your saying. Now, watch this. Listen. Listen. Sir, I'm going to call you Keep saying you are coming, but don't come. Stand up. What's your name, sir? Emmanuel. Let me show you what many people are doing. Emmanuel, this is for you. Come and receive it. I'm coming, but don't come. Are you seeing what they're doing? I'm coming. I will even come now. I'm saying come. I'm not playing games. This is not April Fool. This is for you. He says, I'm coming. You can even dance around and say, I'm coming and not come. And somebody from nowhere, come darling. And you say but they just gave that to you last year i've been saying i'm coming since how many years is the one who takes the action that has faith please sit down the one who moves is the one who believed not the one who says i will move now i'm not saying speaking is wrong but that is not the only action required. God tells you, your job is in Lekki. If you believe it, get into the bus. Be on your way there. I know you say I'm stupid. That's why many people don't get breakthroughs. It is at the point of going. Listen. It says the wine had finished. It says fill six pots. Huh? Then he says, fetch that water. Start going to the rulers. Ah, my 
my job my reputation what if i get to the ruler i say why are you here say please um somebody in the crowd told me that he's a miracle worker and that if i fetch six pots of water every manifestation of faith you only rejoice at the end of the result the process is a risk let me spell faith for you r i s k that's the spelling of faith faith is not spelled f-a-i-t-h no the doers of faith know the real spelling of faith it's called r i -S -S 